Hello, my name is Uli Hughes. I'm an SMP veteran of over 10 years. And today, this is the first of my FAQ series. And we're gonna be discussing the frequently asked question, how long is my SMP going to last? Let's get into it. Okay, so when we're discussing the longevity of your SMP, unfortunately there is no one answer because there are so many variables at play. So let's break down what a few of these variables are. Number one, skin type. As SMP artists, we come across such a wide spectrum of skin types, from very, very oily to super dry, almost verging on psoriasis or eczema. Now, in my experience over the years, it's the very dry ones that can pose problems in terms of retention of the pigment. Now that's not to say that's every client with dry skin, that's just a correlation I've seen over the years. Now obviously this can be combated by frequent moisturising of the skin, but to be honest, if you've got psoriasis or eczema, that's probably going to be a contraindication that stops you from having SMP in the first place. So check that with your practitioner beforehand. Number two, extreme UV sunlight. Now the main thing that you can do, and this does get spoken about quite a lot in the SMP community, the main thing that you can do is protect your scalp from extreme UV. And I say extreme because to be honest, it's not something you have to worry about most of the time, especially here in the UK, walking around for four fifths of the year, you're not gonna have to be concerned about the sunlight hitting your head. Um, if you're in a hot climate though, or if you're in the UK, those few days of sun that we do get, ideally you want to be wearing a hat. Strong UV uh, sun protection is of course going to help. If you're at a wedding, for example, that's outside, or if you get caught out, then that's what you wanna be doing. We're in a factor of 30 to 50. But ideally, you want to be wearing a hat because UV protection is a little bit inconsistent with sun cream. You don't know how long it's lasting on the scalp. And I have clients sometimes, they've been on holiday, they've only worn UV protection as opposed to a hat. And they send me some pictures and there's some sort of sunspots and some degradation of the scalp. So wear a hat, you should be protecting your skin anyway. Regardless of SMP, you should be protecting your scalp from the sun anyway. So it kind of goes without saying, but that's the thing that's gonna really make it last. Personally, I've had my SMP for 10 years now, and I've only had one top up, and that's because I'm really hot on using, <laughs> I'm just really hot. I'm hot on protecting my scalp. So, take it from me. Stay on top of it. Number three, products with alcohol content. Now, you need to be checking your moisturizer for alcohol content. Most of them don't contain it, but make sure you're using one that doesn't. The thing though that I find does genuinely affect SMP over time is constant use of alcohol content in minoxidil. Minoxidil is a product which can be bought in boots. It's a hair, a hair loss or hair growth treatment, which I'm very skeptical about the results of. I feel like if there was a, something that we could buy in boots that would uh, grow our hair back, we'd all do it. Anyhow, um, if you are going to continue using minoxidil, make sure you get the one that doesn't have alcohol content um, because I do find that constant use of minoxidil post SMP definitely fades it. Um, but again, I don't feel it works anyway. Number four, the use of derma rollers. Now, derma rollers are these tiny contraptions they're kind of like mini paint rollers, but with hundreds of spikes around them. And the people that sell these, sell them with the theory that if you roll them over your scalp frequently, um, the needling is going to um, in increase collagen, increase blood flow, and potentially stimulate hair growth. I know, right? Like, if it was that easy, surely we'd all do it. However, people do ask if they can continue to use these. 
And the answer is no. Naturally, if you're purposely damaging your skin with this roller, the skin is trying to heal, it's sending white blood cells to the skin. And of course, during this healing process, you're likely to lose some of your pigment. So as you can see, there really are very few things which are going to affect your SMP moving forward. I think when people ask the question about longevity, it's because they're concerned that SMP is going to cost them a lot. And that really isn't the case. On average, you're going to need a top up every three to five years. But if you're lucky like me and you really look after it in the sunlight, it might be seven. SMP is not going to disappear completely. It's only ever gonna to fade to the point where you need one at most two sessions to give it that kick again. So don't worry, it's not an expensive treatment long-term. It's gonna cost you way less than all the hair products you've been wasting your money on, all the haircuts, and it's, it's a great solution. So any more questions that you'd like me to do an FAQ video about, leave them below, and uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.